Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? It's time for another chess puzzle. Um, wait to move here. What's the deal, yo? Um, closed position, right? And basically, these puzzles, you just gotta find like the point of the puzzle. What is the point? There's a lot of different ways of looking at it. Uh, obviously, it's not a tactic here, because we're just kind of um, we're still in positional mode here. Uh, but you try to look at the good pieces, the bad pieces, the plans for both sides, stuff like that. I mean, you look at his knights, they're like, I don't see sevens, a little shaky. But if it goes to b5 and d4, then it becomes strong. Hmm. Black also has ideas like f5. Um... to say what is like the idea here I don't know <laughs> I don't know as usual oh man so knight a3 moves the rook whatever I don't like this knight coming to b5 and to oh leave me alone buddy some GM wants to play me um, I never play Blitz. I only play a five-minute pool because I like it when you don't choose your opponent. It just kind of happens. It's like it creates variety, and there's all this like kind of ethics involving rematches that just annoy the hell out of me. So <laughs> I just uh, ignore all those people. People are much more likely to go crazy. Like if you play a three-minute game with them and you and you win, and then you don't play again. And I don't want to have to feel like just everyone has their own little ethics system, and I just want to avoid it all. Uh, is B4 any good? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I kind of like B4 somehow. Opening with position up while. Because the C6 square looks tasty, right? So, like, B4 pawn takes, rook takes. Rook takes, knight takes. And we're kind of eyeing C6, but he goes knight B5, and. He's eyeing um, d4. Oh, a4 and then b4. Keep the knight out of b5. You know, because it's just all these lines, like... Uh, oops, sorry. Notice my pawn's not pink, because the knight defends the rook. I mean, all these variations. I don't like the knight coming here. Like, this knight on c7 is a bad piece, right? So I'm thinking... A4 first, rook moves away somewhere, and then B4. Pretty much has to take, and then we take. Oh, but he gets a C5 square. Well, he doesn't get it right away. But something like this, and I don't love it so much either. So what to do, guys? What to do? Um, Queen E1? Kind of eyeing that knight on, on A5? Looks interesting to me. Bishop B2 to C3? Oh, uh, no, I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know what the idea here is. Queen E1's interesting. Sort of. Hmm. Oh, Dravitsky, what are you looking for here? What type of answer are you looking for? His knights, they, it, it, his knights are a little funny on A5 and C7. If there's just a way to kind of restrict them a little bit more, especially the knight on A5. I mean, it only has B7 to go to. So let's focus on that guy and figure out how he's going to get out of that situation. Maybe he wants to go, you know, C4, we can just go B4. I don't know, man. I feel like I would just go bishop to b2. And, and then, like, bishop to c3 and stuff. It's kind of a really lame move. And I know that usually these puzzles... Every now and then it's just, like, some simple move is the answer. But, like, it would surprise me somehow. I'm just going to go bishop to b2. That's, that's going to be my answer. Just 
because I don't know the knight is a little funny. We put it on put the bishop on c three maybe. See the only downside is like like this, right? Coming to d four. That's why like that's what bothers me here. I'm not quite ready to make my move yet. I lied. I totally lied. I don't know what to do. I mean, I kind of, I know Black's idea is like, just get, like Rook B8 and Knight B5 type stuff. Um, I'm just having, you know, I'm having trouble then meeting, meeting them properly. Um, this is what I am to think about. You sit around <laughs> with no idea what to do. A4, it just stri it strikes me as odd because it makes his knight on A5 stronger, you know? Uh, whereas B4 gives his knight like a new square to go to. And he, I mean, B5, B4, sorry. It's, it's interesting, but still, he gets bishop a6 also, which is, like, annoying. So I really am confused. I should move soon. I mean, there's no, no excuse for thinking six minutes in a closed position like this. Like in a tournament game, this is... It's sort of a game you can never spend more than 10 minutes in a position like this. You just have to make a move eventually, like knight e3 or something. You just do something um, because there's a limited amount of time you have in a chess game and you have to you have to make sure not to overstep those boundaries. Um, bishop a3 with the idea of b4? It's kind of interesting. It looks ridiculous, though. The only the key, though, is we we can we can take with the um, bishop, like, like just for example, if, if he does like the same type of plan, take bishop takes bishop. There is kind of nice. I gotta be honest. It's kind of nice. And bishop a6. Same idea, maybe. Like, just do this. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Hmm, so maybe bishop a3. It looks like such a awkward move, though. Maybe it's good. I don't know. I like. I kind of like it the more I look at it. But... Yeah. See, this thing, if I go rook e1, for example, rook b8 with the idea of knight b5, but maybe still just b4. And like some position like this, right? Like, I, I don't know, his knight on a5 is just unpleasantly placed. Bishop f1 pins his other knight. So it feels like he's in a bit of a bind here. a4 is a threat. So I'm going to play this really weird move, bishop a3, actually. I think... I'll be very happy with myself if I play the right move after all that thought. All right, I'm going to try it. Ah, oh, I was wrong. Right now I just start guessing every move. Uh, I'm doing it off screen. Just trying to like guess the moves in the order that I was thinking them. Bishop b2 is wrong. Maybe pawn h4 is wrong. What else did I think of? Knight a3? Wrong. I've started guessing all the like legal moves at this point. F4 wrong. F3 wrong. Knight E3 wrong. Knight E1 wrong. B4 is wrong. What? Oh, very similar idea to what I did. Oh, I suck. I should have got this. I didn't even consider the candidate move. Okay, so Black's plan is Rook B8 and B5. And Knight B5. That's what the uh, puzzle says. Harmless is b4, simply c takes, knight takes, and it says bishop d7, and black is fine. The right move is a3. Ah! Oh! 
Why do I miss this? It's so stupid. I know what the opponent's trying to do. I know that the knight in a5 is unfortunately placed. Why can't a moron like me find a move like a3? Is it really so complicated? So brutal. I didn't think of this. I didn't even consider it as a candidate move. That's the problem. Like, candidate moves are really important. I started looking through moves that I might play, and I just... It just didn't cross my mind. If it did, I would figure it out. Like, you gotta think about every move sometimes. Like, how hard is it? A3, B4. And then I can take with a pawn, and the knight has nowhere to go. You you, you know, this is interesting, this this uh, process, because you get to see my thought process, and you see how flawed it, it can be. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty good at chess still, so don't be hard on yourself <laughs> when you mess stuff up, basically. Because this is like... I had all the tools to get this move right. I was Everything I was saying was exactly the point of the position. The knight wants to go to b5 to d4. I want to I want to stop that. I want to take advantage of the knight on a5. Well, this move does all those things. If rook b8, which is what happened, b4, cb, ab, whoops, sorry, knight to b7, um, and knight c4 and white is better. Um, supposedly, White agreed to a draw here, but probably because he was like um, facing a stronger opponent, so he just kind of wussed out. But White has an advantage because Black's knights are unfortunately placed. Queen d3. This is like a variation. Rook to a1. I mean, all of White's pieces are better, clearly. Bishop to e3. Rook a8. F3. And, and White's obviously just better. Like the, the, this knight on b7. Whenever you can force their knight to get fianchettoed and has nowhere to go, it's bad news. So, really cool puzzle. Um, I feel kind of crappy that I didn't get the right move there. It's kind of like ridiculous, actually. Um, what are you going to do? Next time, I'll be more likely to do it correctly. Alright, see y'all next time. Hope some of you guys got it right. Bye-bye.